Hello, my name is Heath Johnson. I'm a consultant with Network Consulting Services Incorporated, or NCSI for short. I'm going to show you how to add an image to an outbound email. The first step is to open up an incident or a service request. Either one is fine. And what I want to do is open up a blank email because I want to utilize the HTML functionality in the message body. The next step is to open up my image that I want to include and take a screenshot of it. And then paste it right into the body of the email so I get an image. After that, open up the source edit and copy this whole line of characters. Then go into the configuration console and go into global constants and create a new one. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine notification logo. And in the value field, we want to paste that long string of characters. And then click on Save. Once that's done, let's go to a business object and edit one of the outbound emails. For this demonstration, I'm just going to modify the notification for a new incident. So I go to Triggered Actions and then scroll down to the For New Incident Notification. And then on these first couple screens, I'm not going to make any changes. Click on Next, then Next. And then once we get to the email area, in here at this one, I want to go to Source Edit. And at the very end, I'm just going to type, put in a couple breaks. These are line breaks. And then this is where I would add in the global the global constant. So to do this, I can either type it in or I can go to functions, expand out system functions, and then look for get global. Drag that down to the field and then with the, within the parentheses on the inside, type in the name of the global concept that we just created. And make sure it's in parentheses. Click on Next, and then Save. OK, so once that's done, go back to the user interface. We can cancel out our email window. We don't need that anymore. Let's create a new. Incident. I'm not going to do anything fancy in the summary description just so I know that it gets sent out. And so I don't have to fill out a whole bunch of uh, required fields. I'm just going to change my status to logged and then click on Save. Then to test to make sure that our image worked, open up this outbound email in the journal entry and then scroll down to make sure that we do have indeed the image that uh, we want.
come in as one last check, open up the email, and to make sure that the image is also in the email that I, and this is the email that I actually received, so we can see that the image is there, and so we have success. So this is just uh, one way to add an image into your emails to make them appear a little better, more personalized, more branded for your organization. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.